Hi! Welcome to Flower Tangent by Deborah. Thanks for joining me today. So happy you're here. I'm going to do a bright and cheery arrangement for you today that you hopefully will go get flowers and follow along with me. Hopefully some of you are actually trying it for yourself and seeing, oh wow, guess what? I can do it. Deborah's not some kind of rocket science genius. I can actually do this myself. That's the point of me doing these videos. So hopefully you're checking it out and trying for yourself. DIY people, DIY. I'm doing this arrangement for a friend to give to another friend of ours. And so she just wanted something bright and cheery. So that's what I'm gonna do today. The container is just a clear glass vase that I filled halfway with water and I put a quarter of a packet of floral food in that I got with the bunches of flowers. I'm going to do something different today that I don't think I've shared with you guys, but I always talk about creating a lattice work with my flower stems. The lattice work, then your flowers will start to stay flopping all over the place. Like the first few flowers are gonna do that. The lattice with some floral tape, some clear floral tape on top. That was a big babble of probably useless information. <laughs> I'm good at that. For now, I am going to introduce the flowers I got for today. I got all my flowers at Trader Joe's. There's so many beautiful colors right now. Fall colors are starting to come out and it's so, so much to choose from. It's hard for me to like stick to like my plan. If I have one, <laughs> I want to just buy flowers all the time. But anywho, I got these super pretty yellow chrysanthemums, like button mums. They're not very big, but they're super bright and cheery, right? You think of cheery, don't you think of this? I got this bright, my favorite color, chartreuse green um, spider mum, another family of chrysanthemum. I got these sweet williams, which are super pretty and bright and colorful. I've used them before as well. I got this Eryngium thistle flower. It's like a blue, purple tones, super funky, I love it. And then to green it up a little in the beginning, I got this eucalyptus. I believe this one is silver dollar eucalyptus. There's so many different varieties of eucalyptus, but you can tell when it's eucalyptus because it smells like eucalyptus. Okay, so I am going to use this clear floral tape that you can get on Amazon. Um, I got mine on Amazon, but you can get it at Michael's. It's like a good spot. So I'm basically going to do like three rows, maybe this way, and then two rows that way. So it just creates a couple squares so that your flowers kind of stay in the middle instead of flopping to the side when you first put them in. If you don't have floral tape, you don't have to do this, but it just helps. It's a little trick. And then what all the florists do, they go around and just hold all of those little ends in place by going around once or twice. It looks like that, people. Amazing. All right, I'm gonna start with my eucalyptus and green it up. Remember when you're putting your stems in to make sure there's no leaves on the bottom part where you're sticking into the water so that it doesn't rot and cause bacteria to grow and then your flowers don't last as long. So I'm just gonna measure up against my container, how the length I want it, and then stick it in a square. See, instead of going the tape kind of holds it in place a little bit better. adding the flowers in I usually start with the biggest head so I'm gonna start with these big huge spider mums to clump or not to clump that is the question 
this is where you have to decide. Do I want to disperse the colors all around the arrangement or do I want to color block them, which is cool too, in your comments. Put in what you think I should have done. <laughs> Better be the same as the one I actually picked, people, or you're gonna be on the naughty list. Just kidding. You know what? I'm gonna color block it, and then I'm gonna use my thistle, my eryngium, to tie it in all together all around. Let's try it and see. eucalyptus if I'm noticing like this one's hanging down too much at this point I can't take it out and like replace it so I'm just gonna literally I've done this before another little trick of the trade cut it underneath the other stems where you won't even see where the cut is and then boom this big one that was hanging down too low not an issue anymore so I'm just going around making sure that it's all balanced that way gardener guys, lawnmowers and blowers. There it goes. I think I'm finished for today. To finish this off, because it is a gift, and as you've heard me say before, when I'm giving someone a gift, I like to put a little something on the vase. So I'm gonna see what this, just this little jute twine looks like, wrapped around several times. Just a simple, tiny, tiny knot at the back. the story ends today people here it is I think it turned out bright and cheery which was the orders that I received when uh, I was challenged to make this arrangement so hopefully the person receiving it is full of cheer and bright colorful cheer dark. sorry sometimes it's dorky happenings around here I'm sure mr. frog will say something about that Anywho, thanks for joining me again today. I had fun with this one. Go get some flowers and try it, people. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye for now. Mwah!